Hey everybody, Jeff aka Jakers here. Welcome to another Amazon Deliveries. Today it is September 30th, 2023. I hope you're all having a great day. I'm just current. I'm still in the process of trying to find the a good uh, background to use when I do these videos. So I'm trying this one today. But anyway, <clears throat> so let's get to it, shall we? So let me turn on my webcam. There we go. I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, it is about 3.37 it looks like. And, you know, overall it was a, it's been a few days since I did another, well, one of these videos. Let me see here. When was the last time I actually did a video like this? Hold on one second. Come on, where's it? The last one was in September on the 21st. So it's been, wow, it's been nine days. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, so I basically am, I, in the previous videos, I was talking about how I uh, wanted to, I'm in the process of closing up these collections and getting the figures I really want. And I'm just about done with both Legacy and Evolution. And then I guess you could throw in Kingdom, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom in that. Even though the figure is not technically a Kingdom figure, but you'll see what I mean. So, first up, I have three figures that I'm also going to be showing today that I got. The first one is the Legacy Evolution Trash Master. Uh, this is actually the final figure that I wanted to get fr uh, from the Legacy line. Uh, basically, there, I, I did not get uh, or purchase the core class figures. To me, core class figures are kind of not needed, at least for me. At least for me. The only time I buy a core class figure is if it's a character I don't think they're going to do a larger scale of. So, best examples are like Bombers and Iguanas which came out in Legacy if I remember correctly if I if they sh if they if there was any evidence that they were going to be released in like deluxe class which they should have been I would have waited till then but I don't think that they're going to be released in deluxe class so I grabbed those uh, core class figures but so I also re uh, recently I did not do a video of it because I wasn't feeling that good. I haven't been feeling good at all this uh, week. I think I came down with a bad bug. I'm a little bit better today, but we'll see how it is later by the time I go to bed. But I also uh, this week after I got off work, I went and I picked up the Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Bombshell. I already opened the box, op opened the figure up and everything, so I, I did not do a delivery video or uh, an unboxing. Like I said, I wasn't feeling that good. But that was like the one figure I really wanted to get out of the box because I was anticipating and so hyper for, or hyped for that figure, you know. Anyway, so we have the Voyager Class, yep, Voyager Class Trash Master. This guy is honestly what I think was a bad kept secret I watched the Hasbro fan stream I think it was back in April possibly it was when they were it was I think it was one of the first fan streams that I did a replay of and it pissed me off because when it came to doing this pipeline reveal of trash master they didn't even have the fucking balls to even put up like concept art Nope, they didn't have a photo at all. It just had, I think it was like a black background with white text. Trash Master. And, th and I'll be honest, that fucking pissed me off. It's like, you are a multi-billion dollar company. And you cannot even give, like, concept art. Give us an idea of what we're looking at. Or what we can expect, at least. No, all you get is... Black background, white text. That's the thing I can do. And I don't even get paid for this shit that I like to do. You know, I do this stuff for free. But I kind of figured that due to the name, it's going to be uh, a garbage truck. And then they revealed the figure later on. And it turned out to be a garbage truck. <laughs> so anyway, on the front, Legacy Evolution 
uh, you have the you know the art box uh, artwork here, open box here, and you see a little bit of Trash Master there. On the side, same fucking artwork. The it's the same artwork we've been getting f this entire line. And I don't want. I'll be honest. I kind of flip flop a little bit. At the core, I don't hate the artwork. I think the artwork is nice. I just I'm done with it. I'm done with it. It's like back in the 90s. You remember uh, back in the 90s to those who were alive, the, one of the big movies was Titanic. And the song that fucking played on the radios nonstop was My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. The first couple times, you know, it's a nice song. Yeah, you, you like the, you know, you still like it. But after like that 50th, 60th, 70th time on replay on your local radio station, you're just tired of it. That's how it is with the box art, you know, the, this artwork. I like it. It's I like it, but it's just I'm I'm done seeing. It. I cannot wait to see something new. I'm not sure what it is. I didn't feel this way that much when it came to like the War for Cybertron artwork. I'm not sure what it is. It's just something I'm j I'm just done. Anyway. Other side, you have a full body screenshot of uh, Trash Master and then a close up, which is basically just a close up of hit the head uh, profile here. I would have been happy if they did a different picture. Yeah, it would, or even have it in a, its alt mode, like in a different pose that's different than this. Yeah. On the top, useless shit on the bottom. Wait. On the bottom, and then on the back, 15 steps to convert this guy. And this guy comes apart. He he is basically, at his core, a weaponizer. Even though they're not called weaponizers, but if you have uh, if you have a junkie on from this this product line, you've had you you've had a fossilizer. If you had a fossilizer from War for Cybertron Kingdom. You had a weaponizer. It's basically the same concept, no matter what Hasbro wants to fucking tell you. And by the way, the Evo Fusion is basically the weaponizer gimmick. Him, his parts going on to another figure. That's that's the Evo Fusion. That's that fucking Evo Fusion. That's weaponizer shit. That that's a, that's the same shit that they did all the way back in goddamn War for Cybertron Siege with Cog. And Brunt and Six Gun. I think those. Oh, and then there was uh, there was the one from Kingdom. I can't recall what his fucking name is. It's the same fucking concept. I'm sorry. You may not like it, but it's the truth. They're just trying to. Right now, Hasbro, as much as they don't like me saying it, they do not like the fact that I think that they are uh. Creatively, they're creatively in a dry patch right now. So basically, that's why we have the Junkions. It's the same fucking thing as the Fossilizers before, and then the Weaponizers before that. And now we got the goddamn Rock Lords from War for oh not War from Legacy Unity, which is a fucking stupid name. You may not agree with it, but it's stupid. I would have gone with Legacy Universe myself. But that would be too much sense. But yeah, so this is not an uh, unboxing video. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Uh, as you can see, my collection is still growing in the background. I am. I think I am going to start unboxing these videos. Or these. Not these videos. These figures. And then I'm just going to do a major upload on my birthday. That way I can clean some of this up. Uh, get the, these poor guys out of the boxes and off the shelf. Because right now it's like a fucking game of Jenga. I'm worried that like a breeze will start toppling those boxes over. You know? Okay, so up next with Trash Master out of the way. Uh, a couple years ago... Well, it's almost two years ago, uh, on the 9th of October. Uh, nearly two years ago, my mom passed away. And I kind of talked about this before. One of the downsides after she passed away was I uh, lost 
interest in everything. I I just I I know it's part of the mourning process, and I understand that, or the grieving process, and I understand that. But I mean, I I still had in you know hobbies and everything, but I just I with the death of my mom, it just it it literally just destroyed everything I loved, you know. So for about a year and a half, roughly. No, about half a year, almost. Sorry. Uh, I did not buy anything Transformers related at all. It, it's just literally, I, I just went from day to day living. I went to work. I came home. I had dinner. I, I went to bed. I went back to work. Starting last summer, roughly, I that's when I, I really got back into the collecting of Transformers. One of the figures that I never had a chance to get when she passed away was Scorponok from uh, War for Cybertron Kingdom. Or, yeah, I think it was Kingdom. What was that from Earthrise? I can't recall. Uh, it's a figure I wanted to get, but nowadays he just he he's going for like a little over four hundred dollars with taxes and like it's like ugh. I want to, but I don't want to spend that kind of money. So I went the next best route. So up next, I present to you. Mm, boy, this is a big. He's a big boy. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I present to you, Legacy. Is this Evolution? Nope. It's just Transformers Legacy, Black Zarek. Oh my God, this guy's like a fucking beast. Ugh. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, this thing is actually pretty damn heavy. Forgot how heavy Titan class figures are. But yeah, so I got Leg Transformers Legacy. Uh oh, Black Zarek basically. It is I think it's a it's a repaint and I think the head sculpt is different, but everything else is basically the same. I think it comes with like a different accessory, but there's nothing really different here and then on the side, you have the Decepticon logo. Other side, just some lines. And then on the bottom, that. And then on the back, there is literally nothing there. I'm sorry, I can't show that much more. It's just that trying to keep this thing in the... In the uh, picture, it's not that easy. But, uh, yeah, so I... I, I wanted to get Scorponok, but like I said, at that time, at that time, I was going through really a real hard, real hard point in my life, and you know when I started getting back into it, I it was even like a couple months before I got back into Transformers, I looked on Amazon because that's how, as you know, I that's how I get these figures. Scorpidoc was going for like a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars. I'm like, okay, you know. And then last summer came and when I started getting back into it, and it jumped up to like three hundred. And now it's like it's like three sixty nine or three fifty nine or something. it's like holy shit, you know. So it's it's just, that's why I did not get uh Scorpinoc. If if the price ever comes down and or I find one at you know, like at, at a local store that's going for cheaper, then I'll consider uh, buying it. But right now, I'm, I'm kind of okay with having Black Zarek. Yes, I know it's a different character, but hey, you do what you gotta do sometimes. Am I right? Am I right? So the thing is, I already have five Titans up on uh, some cabinets over here, and. I haven't taken them out of their packages yet, and the thing is, I'm going to have to pretty soon because these, this, you know, Black Zarek's going to go up there until I can get the time to get these things out of the package, their boxes, and get them displayed. Now, you're kind of curious what Titans I have. I know you don't, you can't see it, but I have Fortress Maximus, Trypticon, Web Omega Supreme, the Ark, and the nemesis and then i have good old black zarek so I'm, I'm getting a pretty large collection of 
uh, Titans, you know, which, which I, who doesn't like to have a good Titan, you know? <laughs> okay, so finally with, with, oh God, get over here, big boy. Oh my, the thing is these boxes are so big, you cannot e easily grab it and just display it, you know, to show off everyone. So, oh, there you go. So with me showing, you know, uh, showing Black Zarek, or not, well, showing the box, you know. With that out of the way, <laughs> I will go on to the final, uh, the final delivery for today, the third figure. There you go. Don't fall over. Please do not fall over. The third figure. Holy shit, this is also going to be another big one. This is, uh, the final figure I need, you know, I wanted to get for Legacy also. So basically, with the exception of the core class, I basically got all the Legacy and Legacy Evolution figures that I wanted. So to me, that collection is complete. I know you're going to say, well, you didn't get all the figures of the collections that are complete. You're right. Technically, it's not complete, but to me, it is because those are the figures I want from my collection. Therefore, it's complete. But finally, got another big boy. This... Uh, I present to you Legacy Metroplex. Now, I, when I, I got back into the trans, uh, actually, I'll continue on before I get into the story time. So, top of the box, Transformers Legacy. Holy shit, this thing is huge. Uh, on the, on the side, a nice large picture of Metroplex. On the other side, it's that legacy artwork. Bottom. Oh, jeez. Uh, you would think that considering how many fucking, uh, how much, uh, legal garbage they put on the bottom of these boxes, this bottom panel would have had a lot more, but they have it all condensed. And then on the back, ugh, okay, there we go. Here we have his uh, the stock photos, and f and you're counting that correctly. 52 steps for conversion. This is a big beefy boy, but he is a Titan class, so that's what you ex gotta expect. Oh Jesus Christ! Ugh. Let me scratch right back now. Ugh. Okay, so just after I got into or back into collecting Transformers. I got back into the, you know, the hobby. Between It was like between... Uh, it was like at the end of Combiner Wars and at the beginning of Titan's Return. I was doing some research and they had a Titan that caught my eye. And it was the G1 Metroplex. And I'm like, oh, dude. I wanted to get that, but at that time, the price was like, I think it was like six, seven hundred dollars, and that was before I got my current job, and I can afford all this stuff. Nowadays, I think that, I think on the low end, that figure can go between eight to a thousand dollars, so yeah, like, oh god, yeah, I can't get it, I, I cannot, I, I cannot justify spending that much for one figure, even though it's a Titan. That is a shit ton of money, you know? And besides, going back to the the Scorponok figure that I also was, did not get, I, I, I bought these two figures, and these two figures alone cost less than what Scorponok does. But anyway, so going back to the Metroplex, I just cannot justify that, uh, bought, spending that much money for that figure. So when I originally heard the initial report that uh, Metroplex was going to be the Titan for Legacy, I'm thinking, oh, fuck yeah. I'm going to be able to get T Metroplex finally. And then the pictures came out and it was, it was Metroplex. It was Metroplex. So I'm not mad. They did not lie. They did not lie. <laughs> They, but I don't think that they said exactly right away who it was. They just said, I think they just said Metroplex, but it was Cybertron Universe Metroplex. I saw the picture. I'm like, what the fuck is that? 
because I I never watched the Cybertron trilogy. My, my experience is G1 Beast Wars, Beast Machines, the Machinima uh, series, and then the Netflix War for Cybertron series. And then I think I watched one or two episodes of uh, Cyberverse Adventures. But So I saw this, I'm like, oh, that, that's not Metroplex, but it is Metroplex, it's just not the one I'm, you know, I'm used to. But, so, am I... I don't hate the figure. I think it looks neat. It's just not what I'm used to. But, yeah, so I cannot... And this is the same situation as with Black Eric. He's going to go up on the ca the cabinets. And then when I get enough time, I should have... I think I'm going to have nearly two weeks. Hold on, let me check my calendar. Okay, let's go to December... Okay, so report. Uh, it looks like uh, my job actually goes on break for winter break, basically. St uh, on the last day before winter break is the fifteenth of December, and then I don't re do not return until the third of January. So that is almost it's about uh, sixteen, seventeen days. It looks like. So I'm hoping that by in that time. I will be able to get these figures out and I can, you know, put them away and stuff because what's the point of having the Titans if they're just going to remain in the boxes forever, you know? But yeah, that's about it. So I'm glad to say I finally got let my, my collection of Legacy completed, my collection of Legacy Evolution completed, and to a lesser extent, I got War for Cybertron completed. I think, is that when... Hold on, let me just check real quick. Because I keep thinking that Scorponok came out. It's either... Uh, it's either... Earthrise or... Kingdom. Hold on. Uh, okay. Give me one second here. Let's see here. But yeah, either way... It, Either way, it was around the, uh, during the time that my mom passed away, you know, so it, that, but that's ultimately why I just did not, oh, it was Earthrise, okay. Uh, let's see here, t November, t November 28th, 2020 is the Takara, when did this, let's see here, hmm, it doesn't say when he came out, but I was probably waiting for it to, uh, come out, you know, for a low, uh, lower price, so, but anyway. I, oh god, what was I fucking talking about now? But, oh, the Black Zarek. So, I, like I said, I, you know, due to, per, you know, personal tragedies and everything, I just didn't get the Scorpion knock in time, and I just want to spend that much kind of money now. So, to me, Black Zarek is a good, kind of good substitute, you know. But that is about it, ladies and gentlemen. I am not anticipating any further figures coming in the within the next month at least, unless uh, Amazon changes their release dates. The upcoming figures that I have uh, coming in are on November... Well, let me check just to be sure here. I think it's November 2nd? Let's see here. It's two pre-orders. It's the pre-orders for uh, Legacy, not Legacy. Oh, well, Leg no, it's not Legacy. My God, Jeff. It is the pre-orders for Studio Series 86, Voyager Class, uh, Ratchet, and Leader Class. What's the Leader? Hold on. I think it's Leader Class. Uh, oh, what should we call it? Uh... Oh, it's Commander Class Ultra Magnus. So, Voyager Class Ratchet and Commander Class uh, Ultra Magnus. And they're not coming in until the 2nd of November. So, I'm going to have over a month to kind of rest and get ready. But, as, has, as, uh, as Amazon has been doing recently, they have a habit of actually bumping up the release date of these pre-orders. So... If I get it on November 2nd, fine, you know. If not, and I get it earlier, that'll be even better, you know. But 
so do not expect a Transformers Amazon video for quite a while. If I may just do like a, a, a Amazon video if I get something else non Transformers because I do buy items from uh, Amazon that are not Transformers, and I like to give you my thoughts about them. Yeah. But that is about it. So I hope you all have a great day. And until next time, everybody, tell all are one. Peace out.